G'day folks and welcome back to Bex Basics. So today I'm issuing a challenge, an electroculture challenge. But before I do that, I just wanted to give a little bit of context about what we're, I'm trying to achieve on the Bex Basics channel. So we're going through difficult economic times. Interest rates are soaring, uh, inflation is really high, food costs are really high. So what I'm trying to do on this channel is to help people to learn how to grow their own food so that they can feed their families. Uh, because it's getting difficult to do that with the cost of living uh, soaring so much. And in doing that, I'm trying to provide um, tips and tricks on how to um, not only start a garden, but to maximize the yield out of your garden. So you're getting the maximum crop, especially in a small garden area or a potted garden like you can see behind me here. Um, so I'm really trying to help people to, to feed their families and to find ways to get the most out of their garden that they can so that they can really maximize what, they, what they're uh, producing and feed their families in the best way they can. And in doing that, I look at a number of different ways um, and a number of different uh, methods uh, to increase the yield in your garden. And in doing that, one of the things I tried was electroculture. So electroculture is um, very popular at the moment on the internet. And there's a lot of uh, posts going around on social media about how electroculture can um, miraculously and, and massively increase the, the yield in your garden. And so, of course, I was interested in that, you know, who doesn't want to increase the, the yield in their garden? Who doesn't want to get, you know, um, you know massive growth uh, compared to normal growing methods? So I tried that and had a look and see whether or not that would work. But I need to make it clear what I was actually trialling. So the majority of posts that are going around on TikTok and YouTube, um, Telegram, other social media sites, talk about just having a very simple uh, electroculture aerial, which includes just some copper wire wound around um, a timber stake, driven into the ground or into the pot, um, and that would draw uh, electricity into the ground and increase the yield of your crops. Sounds fantastic. I wanted it to work. Absolutely wanted it to work. Um, so I gave it a try and you know, it didn't work for me. The, um, I did a controlled experiment where I had two different crops, cucumbers and tomatoes, um, and had a look at whether or not the electroculture would actually increase the yield of those crops. Uh, the claim was also that it would reduce the uh, pest activity in the uh, crops as well and so having a look to see whether that would actually work as well. So I did that trial um, with a controlled experiment as well. So some uh, cucumber and tomato plants didn't have electroculture and some did. And so really trialling whether or not uh, the, the electroculture would actually produce the results that are being touted on social media that would work. Now it didn't work for me. Uh, I didn't see any results and in fact at one stage in the experiment uh, the plants were looking like they were actually going to die. So I had to change it. I made a couple of changes during the course of the experiment and you can check out those videos if you want to um, on how that uh, progressed and the results. So I posted the, the results of the experiment on, uh, on my channel here and I've received a lot of criticism about it, a lot of criticism about the results. Um, you know, although a lot of people want, to, want it to work and as I said, I really wanted it to work as well but it didn't work. And so I've received a lot of criticism about that. So today's challenge is about that. So first, let's be clear about what this challenge is not about. This is not about um, extravagant, elaborate electroculture setups where you have magnets in the ground, where you have elaborate, massive aerials uh, planted in your garden and all around the place. This is about the social media posts that are on the internet and circulating it at the moment that say that all you need to do is take some copper wire, wrap it around a timber or bamboo stake and drive it into the ground. And that that will produce massive results in your garden. That's what we're testing here. So the challenge is if you have conducted an experiment of electroculture. Now by an experiment I mean that you need to have uh, used electroculture but also tried to uh, tested it against the control group as well. So what I mean by that is if you've got 
two of the same plant or multiple of the same plant and you've tried electroculture on one set of those plants and not the others so you have a control group that doesn't have electroculture at the same time under the same conditions then I want to see your results I'd like to, to uh, for you to show me you know if it's worked for you fantastic let's have a look at it let's get it posted on the internet here but I want to see the control groups as well uh, it's no good and you can't say you've you've conducted a, a scientific experiment if you've just used it you know said uh, I've got electroculture and I've tried it in my garden here and it's worked and, and had miraculous results because that could just be the season it could be the type of fertilizer you're using the amount of rain the amount of sunshine you're getting this year you could be getting different results that you got last year so to to be a proper comparison you need to have a control group under the same conditions at the same time so let's get it out there if you've got uh, a control group and an electroculture group that you've taken photos of I'd like to see before and after photos uh, so that you we can compare the growth as you go along it might, might take you a little while to get this information together and that's okay we've got months we've got ages let's let's get the uh, the information out there let's get the experiments happening so if you're um, doing that if you've got a control group and electroculture group uh, and you've got results where you can show that the electroculture is producing significantly improved results compared to the uh, control group then please post your photos post your comments in the comments here of the of this video please don't post comments uh, if you haven't done this trial yourself please don't post comments if you're talking about elaborate systems like magnets or really elaborate um, aerials it's really just about the simple aerials with copper wire wound, wound around a simple uh, timber stake and driven into the ground uh, but you know if you've got those those results show us let's have a look um, let's get the information out there where people have conducted an actual trial there's so much information out there saying that it works and look I've done the, this electroculture and I've received, uh, achieved these massive results, but no, com no control group, no comparison. So if you've got a control group, or if you're doing that, if you want to start it, start it now, post your photos, let's have a look at it. But it has to be with a control group and just that simple aerial system. So, you know, let's, let's see if it works. Let's see what your results are. Let's see what your uh, experiences are. Get your, your photos and your comments posted uh, in the comments. We'd love to see them. Thanks for joining us on Beck's Basics. We're looking forward to seeing your results.